Let's turn to the Bill of Rights for one. The Bill of Rights comes along and establishes limitations on the federal government. The founders said separation of powers is not enough. We want to have some specific limitations placed upon the power of the federal government so it doesn't try to do things that are outside of its jurisdiction. So I want you to think about the Constitution establishing the authority of the federal government from we the people, and the Bill of Rights establishing its jurisdiction. Now see, jurisdictions are limitations that are placed on government or any other type of authority for that matter. For instance, I am the sheriff in Dorchester County, South Carolina. My authority is that of a sheriff. My jurisdiction is that of Dorchester County. I'm out of my jurisdiction now. I don't have the authority of a sheriff here. Now, I can make a phone call back home and make things happen. But I don't have any authority here. I am outside of my jurisdiction. That is a geographical jurisdiction. There are other types of jurisdictions. We call it subject matter jurisdictions. For example, back home in my county, I have a right to tell you how fast you can drive your car. It must be within the posted speed limits. I do not have the right to tell you what kind of car you can drive. That's outside of my jurisdiction. Uh, I have a right to tell you how loud you can play your music. You can't disturb the neighborhood. But I don't have the right to tell you what kind of music you can play. That's outside of my jurisdiction. And, and on and on and on. We can think of several examples of this. So let's look at the Bill of Rights as establishing the jurisdiction of the federal government established by the Constitution. Let's look at, let's look at the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of a religion, nor prohibiting the free exercise thereof, nor abridging the freedom of speech, the freedom of the press, the right of the people to peaceably assemble to redress the government for grievances, all right? Now, how many fifth graders do we have in the room today? Any fifth graders in the room? Any fifth grader can read that and tell you that applies to Congress. Am I right? Congress shall make no law. So unless you happen to be Congress, which is the legislative body of our federal government, unless you happen to be Congress and you happen to be in the process of making a law, the First Amendment really doesn't apply to you, does it? So how do we get this stuff about uh, it applying to the state Supreme Court of Alabama? How do we get this stuff about it applies to the town hall that wants to put up a nativity scene or, or a school district that wants to open a football game or graduation in prayer or post the Ten Commandments? How do, how do we get this? And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. But you can see that the First Amendment places jurisdictional limits on the legislative power of the federal government. Congress... You can pass any law that you want, but you better not pass a law that respects the establishment of a religion, nor prohibits the free exercise thereof, or bridges the freedom of speech, uh, press, etc. You can't do that. It's outside of your jurisdiction. We're drawing the line there. That's the limit of your, of your subject matter jurisdiction.